الحمد للہ الحمد للہ وقفا والصلاۃ والسلام علی عباد الذین استفا اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا ایوہ الذین آمنوا لا تاکلوا اموالکم بینکم بالباطل الا ان تکون تجارتا عن تراض منکم ولا تقتلوا انفسکم من اللہ کان بکم رحیما ومن يفعل ذلك عدوانا وظلما فسوف نسليه نارا وكان ذلك على الله يسيرا صدق الله العظيم now in these two ayat two fundamentals of human society are being discussed the solidarity and peace of human society depends upon two things respect of each other's life and respect of each other's property this mutual respect between human beings actually is the cornerstone of the social order the society will be strong and there will be peace and tranquility in this society if all people have mutual respect among them for each other's life for each other's property یا یو اللہ دین آمن اللہ تاکر بین کم بل باطل دیز ورڈ اپیئرڈ ان سورت البقر آلسو ان دی ٹوینٹی تھرڈ سیکشن دی لاسٹ آیا از ولا تاکلو اموال کم بین کم بل باطل و کلو بہا الحکام تاکلو فریق من اموال الناس بل اسم و انتم تعلمون نا دی فرسٹ پارٹ از دی سیم لا تاکلو اموال کم بین کم بل باطل ڈونٹ ایٹ یور پراپرٹیز امنگ یور سیلز through false means wrongfully this is your property this is my property this is my money this is your money i am not entitled to get it from you you are not entitled to get it from me illa an takuna tijaratan an taradim minkum except that it should be a trading between you with mutual consent this trading you know i have purchased this thing for 1 dollar I am offering to sell it for two dollars and he knows it. This is the price that I am taking that I went to the wholesale market, bought it, brought it to the, this outlet, retail outlet. So you are giving me one dollar, but you are giving it with your consent. So if there is consent, I have taken one dollar from you, but this is within a trading. وَلَا تَعْكُلُوا أَمْوَالَكُمْ بَيْنَكُمْ بِالْبَاطِلُ یا یو اللہ دین آمن اللہ تاکل اموالکم بین کم بل باطل اللہ تکون تجارت ان تراب من کم ولا تخلو انف سکم اینڈ ڈونٹ کل یور سیلفس وٹ از اٹ مین نو وٹ از گوئنگ ٹو کل ہم سیلف سوسائڈ ڈونٹ کل ایچ ادر بیکاز یو بلانگ ٹو ون سوشل آرڈر یو آر آل ہیومن بینگس دس ہیومن بینگ از آلسو یور بردر اف یو آر کلنگ یور بردر اٹ مین یو آر کلنگ یور سیلف وَلَا تَقْتُلُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهِ كَانَ بِكُمْ رَحِيمًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very merciful unto you. وَمَنْ يَفَلْ ذَلِكَ عُدْوَانٌ وَظُلْمًا Whosoever does so, any of these two things, ظُلْمًا عُدْوَانًا transgressively وَظُلْمًا and wrongfully فَصَوْفَ نُسْلِهِ نَارًا So soon we shall cast him into fire. وَكَانَ ذَلِكَ عَلَى اللَّهِ يَسِيرًا And this is very easy for Allah. Don't think it's very difficult for Him. He will throw you into the fire. Don't think that Allah will hesitate from throwing you into the fire. Because you have committed these big crimes. Now as you must have been feeling yourself, that although these ayat which are we, are, we are studying today, they are discussing with rules of conduct, then you know, laws relating to different aspects of human life, But the language is not, you know, very dry legal language, no. After these, say, a few rules are given, few instructions and then some ayat of wisdom, admonition, education, giving you deep insight into things. What is tawbah? Now that was not something pertaining to any legal thing. That is the philosophy of being. That is the basics of the human morality. In the same way you will find now a very basic question being discussed here about sins. That sins and contravention of the divine law is also of two types. Major sins, kabair. 
and smaller, minor sins, sagair. Now, there should be a balance. Neither it should happen that you are looking for and you are very cautious, very careful about the sagair, but some of the kabair you are committing. Well, that is absolutely wrong. So, actually what should happen? First, first, what is more important should be looked after first. In tajtanibu kabaira matul honan. If you abstain and shun from those big crimes from which you are being prohibited. In tajtanibu. If you abstain from them, kabaira, the big sins, matul anhu, from which you are being forbidden. Nukafir ankum sayyatikum. We shall acquit you of the smaller sins, the sagair. We shall pardon them. We shall condone them. وَنُدْخِلْكُمْ مُدْخَلًا karima, And we shall make you enter and admit you to the noble admittance, the place which is very noble and honorable. You will be admitted into the paradise. So this is the very basic thing, you know. People, you know, looking after very careful for minor things. But they are not taking any care of the major things. Whether somebody is doing this Rafai again or not. Oh, he is not doing it. So he is, he is not saying the Salah properly. But he is doing business with interest. No harm. Let it be so. So these are the things, you know, the, the, we have reversed this ratio of proportion. We have to be very careful and very watchful for the Kabayr. And we should be lenient about the sagair. These small things, you know, we should have broad chests for each other. And we should uh, accept the differences regarding those things. But about the major things, in tajtanibu kabai rabatun haunan, nukafir ankum sayyatikum. These smaller sins, discrepancies, due to the human weaknesses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will condone them. وَلَا تَتَمَنَّوا مَا فَضَّلِ اللَّهُ بِهِ بَعْضَكُمْ عَلَىٰ بَعْضِ Now, the philosophy of family life is being discussed here. But the first ayah is very important. وَلَا تَتَمَنَّوا don't desire مَا فَضَّلِ اللَّهُ بِهِ بَعْضَكُمْ عَلَىٰ بَعْضِ Don't desire, don't covet that thing with which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has excelled some of you over the others. Now this is a very basic rule. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me something, has given you something else. He has given wealth to somebody, given wisdom to another one, given knowledge to another one. So these are the bounties of Allah and Allah has given something to one and another thing to someone else. Now if I am jealous, why he has been given this? This is wrong. Don't desire, don't covet. Be contented with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. You should have, you know, evaluate that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me this thing. Well, I should be contented with it. Now, this is the preamble for what? The relationship between men and women. Allah has made men stronger than women. Given them tougher bodies. The size of their physique, average physique of males is greater than the average physique of females. Every size and weight of brain of males is greater than the, the every size and weight of the brains of the females. So Allah has given something more to the males. Now if the females, you know, they are jealous and they are not ready to accept this, this division that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made between them and he has put the females in one aspect inferior to men and the men superior to female, women, well, we one should accept what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created. It is his creation.